Have you heard about the dead J-pop mogul Johnny Kit- Kitagawa? More than 300 of his clients are seeking compensation for being sexually abused by him. No way. Is that the head of Johnny and Associates? Yeah, it is. I've talked about this company a lot. You guys, well, I don't I don't know how many of you came from Twitch streams, but I actually went over this story. So this agency, Johnny and Associates, is brutal. So did any of you play like, you know, Lost Judgment or anything like that? Okay, so a few people. Well, the main actor that plays the main character was a client of Johnny and Associates. And they, one of the big reasons why like PC ports and everything were kind of frowned upon was because Johnny and Associates doesn't like to not have control over someone's image. So that guy in particular, they used to gray him out on magazines and shit that they didn't fully approve or if they like rescinded the approval. Let me show you. They made him look like a Smash character that was about to be announced. Like a new challenger approaches. Uh, what was his name? And th- th- it was so bad with this company because they were so brutal and so strict with all of their clients that at one point the Prime Minister of Japan actually had to like fight against them because of blackmail or something. Uh, I'm a little foggy on the de- details because it's been so long. But this company is evil. So I'm not shocked to be hearing about uh, some abuse coming from behind the closed doors here. Unfortunately. What is the actor's name? I want to show you some of the stuff they do. It's not coming up on Google for some reason. Thanks for the membership, Sesnik. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Taki Kimura. That's who it is. Here. So, if they didn't fully approve of something or changed it, they would do this. They'd literally just, like, remove him from it. And they it's not unusual. It's so weird. Because the idea behind it is they don't want anything from their clients to exist on the internet. So they didn't let them have Facebooks or Twitters or YouTubes or anything like that because then it's on the internet and they can no longer bully people with rights to it or whatever. Eventually they did relent on that last part. They did allow very strict regimented access to social media. But yeah, it's it's an archaic, fucked up company. And they're one of the biggest, from what I recall. Allegations against Kitagawa, who died in 2019, came into prominence again after a BBC documentary inspired more victims to come forward. In September, an independent inquiry concluded that music mogul had abused hundreds of boys and young men over a six-decade career. It also urged compensation for victims. The Johnny and, Associates a- Johnny and Associates agency on Monday revealed 478 people had responded to a website it had set up to rec- recommend 325 of whom were seeking compensation as victims. The agency said 150 of these were former talents. The pop agency renamed itself Smile Up and said the newly named entity would deal solely with identifying and compensating victims. A new company will be created to manage talent. They're trying as desperately as they can to get away from the Johnny and Associates name because this name is mud. This name is synonymous with, like, deplorable behavior. I didn't know they were trying, like, a rebrand, but it makes sense. Oh, I have no idea about any of that, Cole. I can look it up later, though. You're doing all right, Brian. Hope you're having a good night. And I'm not sure. I'd have to really think about that and why. Did you know the J-pop industry, especially Johnny and Associates, is rather like a cult is rather like a cult. Like, fans have to pay monthly enrollment for fan club, and live ticket is like the lottery. There's no public sale. I did not know that. That is disgusting stuff, Cola. Thanks for the membership, Aaliyah. It it looks like his niece even stepped down in the midst of all of this. Oh, and she's been replaced by Noriyuki Hagata. Higashiyama, a television star and singer in Japan who's also been accused of sexual misconduct. You couldn't have chosen someone that doesn't have a history of sexual misconduct allegations? 
Is it that hard to find somebody in this fucking company that isn't a sexual degenerate? You can't. You couldn't find one person with a squeaky, a squeaky clean record. Jesus, what the fuck? Listen, I, I, I know our founder may have abused young men and clients for six decades, but our new head of of staff only has a handful of sexual misconduct allegations. Progress. Going in the right direction. Appreciate it, Seize. Thanks for that. Is this the same company that forced one of their female stars to shave their hair bald live? I don't know that story. It sounds like something they do. Tears of the Kingdom, Matthew. Breath of Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. I'd say start there. I have never sexually harassed anyone. Some people may have felt I was power harassing them, but it was 35 to 40 years ago and I probably wouldn't have been able to understand what sexual abuse is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a defense. I, I mean, it was 40 years ago. I mean, I didn't even know what that word meant. Sexual abuse? What is that? What kind of woke nonsense is that? Huh? Sexual abuse didn't exist 40 years ago. <laughs> Stop, you're being ridiculous. What they could they really couldn't find somebody better? I gotta tell you, I don't know if the rebrand's gonna be that effective with this guy at the helm. Yeah, I watched I watched the All of Thousand Year Blood War. Very excited for the next part. We did bad game night two nights ago. Have you seen Pope the Performer? Is that the one where it's a guy's asshole? Like he's dressed as a man's asshole? Or is this the one where he's hitting a bunch of bars with his wiener? Oh no, this is just that really weird animation. <sighs> yeah, I've seen this. I don't really remember it though. Have you heard of One Punch Man Season 3? Yeah, I'm hoping they don't fumble it like Season 2. I'm excited. You hear that Drake is apparently one hit away from surpassing Michael Jackson? I saw that headline the other day. He, I mean, he's, he's going to do it. Is what it is. Oh, wow. This is an interesting one. His abuse was also considered an open secret in Japan's music industry. He faced allegations for much of his career, and some cases against him were even proven in civil court. However, he also successfully sued for defamation over those reports and always denied wrongdoing. I liked Astro Boy when I was a kid. I'd give a remake a chance. Sure. Thoughts on the FCC emergency announcement tomorrow that will play on all phones, even if silent? Not new. Not scary. Not surprising. I don't think it goes deeper than testing an emergency system. The same way they've done it for like a decade now. Nothing came from those. I don't think anything's coming from this. People are making a big deal out of actually nothing. That's my thoughts on it. But I guess we'll see. Who knows? It could get real crazy. Maybe it'll be like in Kingsman. It just flips the aggression switch in everyone's brain. And we start fighting each other. I don't think so, but maybe. Holy shit, is that right, Mr. Knight? That's a crazy amount of debt. <laughs> wow, nine octillion in debt, huh? Thanks to the membership, B038. Claw Machine, just waiting on YouTube API access, and then it'll be ready. So I don't know how long that'll be, but once we have it, we'll be good to go. You guys can start playing the Claw Machine behind me. I tried Two Human a long time ago on the Xbox. It wasn't very good. All right. I'm getting tired. I'll call it a night. I gotta get up early as well. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Maybe we'll do bad, bad Game Night tomorrow. We found three pretty good bad games two nights ago, so there's still plenty more to find. Alright, have a great night. Thanks for the generosity, everyone. Sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow.